guys, it's Sam and today I'm going to be unboxing the uppercase box. If you guys are wondering why I'm sitting a little farther down, I've done a video about that. It will be linked on the screen for you to check out. So uppercase box approached me and asked me if I would review their box and I said sure. I love subscription boxes in general. I love seeing what everyone comes up with because every different box is curated differently. So thank you so much to uppercase box for sending me this box for review. If you are interested in learning more about uppercase boxes prices and shipping and everything else, I will link their information down below for you to check out. So my box came in this priority mail envelope. I'm sure the actual box is underneath all of this. So when you pull everything out of the nice little envelope that's nice and padded and stuff, you get this little bag that says uppercase box on it. And the tagline is YA Books Delivered to You. So the first thing I see is a Vengeance Road by Aaron Bowman bookmark, which gives me kind of a clue as to what might potentially be in here. Then we have a little box, which has, I'm not sure in it, but it is Juniper and Ivy Designs.com. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's earrings. Sadly, my ears closed up because I had a problematic one ear, but it's these little, I think it's, yeah, it's little snitches, I think. I think these are wooden. They're very, very cute. I might wear it in the one ear. Is my one ear hole still open? That's a weird thing to say. Totes is. That's cute, right? I might just start wearing my earrings in the one earring because I don't care what anybody thinks about that. Those are super cute. Then we have the business card for Juniper and Ivy. And this comes with a coupon code for 15% off. So it's awesome. It says that they do laser engraving, sand carving, glassware, wedding stuff, jewelry, wood, whatever. I'm gonna check this out because if they do fandom type stuff, like, sign me up. Then we have a little notebook that says to be read list. It is very cute. It doesn't have a magnet or anything on it, which I think would have been really cool, but it is a cute little, if you want to write out your TBR list, it's a really cute kind of idea. My printer just started magically printing something in the background. Thanks, Gerald. <laughs> it's a, I'm stopping for it. Sorry, I thought you were on the phone. I was, and then I got off the phone. You have a little makeup mark. Really? Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Congratulations. I love you. <laughs> And the book that was in this month's box was Vengeance Road by Aaron Bowman. And this was a very recent release. I actually read an arc of this that I got at BEA. So I will link my review down below if you're interested. But I really loved this one. And I was thinking about buying a finished copy of it for myself and just hadn't yet. And I'm glad that I have this. I love this cover. This is a really awesome YA Western. It is a standalone. If you're interested in standalones more so than trilogies or something, this is a standalone. It hits all of the Western check marks for everything that you could want. And what's really cool about Uppercase Box, which I didn't know but they showed me in this little letter, is that throughout the book they include little post-it notes with a code and you go to the Uppercase website and it's kind of like an interactive experience reading wise. So as you're reading you can type in the code and like see different things and chat or whatever. I'm not exactly sure the entire extent of the online community with this but it's in little added extra things. So if I were to reread this, I would obviously do it with the codes and stuff and get the whole interactive experience with that. So that's a really cool thing that Uppercase Box does that not everybody else does. And again, this is a brand new hardcover. It was just released very recently, I think this month. So that's super awesome and it's gorgeous and I'm so glad to have this one. They also sent me a signed book plate to put in the book as well, which is awesome. So as far as my review of the box, I think it's really awesome that they send a new hardcover release out. I think that's an awesome thing to do. People are really highly anticipating a book like this. I know it's been getting a ton of buzz, so that is awesome that they send a fairly well-known book along with their box. I also think that the bookish items in there are very cute. I love these snitch earrings and as well as kind of advertising that kind of store that might potentially have some fandom based jewelry and stuff like that. I know that we all love fandom bookish type items so that's awesome. And also the to be read notebook is really cute as well. It's not something that I personally will probably use because I keep track of all my stuff kind of digitally with Goodreads and stuff but it's also very cute artwork and just a cute thing to have as a reader. I will say that I don't feel that this box has a particular theme. I'm not sure if that's how it is every single time but I know some people prefer boxes that have a theme that kind of surrounds the book. So this wasn't particularly a western theme or anything. If that is something that you prefer then this might not be the box for you potentially. Like I said I'm not sure how the rest of the months have been but these things weren't particularly western themed or anything but if you just want bookish items and you don't really care if they're particularly on theme with the book or not then this one would probably be a good one for you. Again I'll be leaving all the information for uppercase box in the description box down below. 
So comment down below and let me know if you have gotten Uppercase Box and what you thought of it and if it's kind of like this every month or if this is a little different and let me know if you have read Vengeance Road. I did a written review for that one so I didn't get to talk about it a ton on my channel. I did talk about it on a wrap up but comment down below and let me know what you thought of it. I loved it. I thought it was really well done. I gave it four stars so if you enjoyed it as well comment down below and let me know. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!